How's it going, guys? This is Lucian Sword back again today with another Brahal video for you guys, as always. And today I am bringing to light the question that a lot of people have been asking me pretty much ever since I've been doing Brahala videos, and you see it all over the place in Reddit and uh, elsewhere in the Brahala community, and that is, which is better to use for Brahala? Keyboard, keyboard and mouse, or controller? Now for this uh, video, I'm not even gonna consider keyboard and mouse. Um, if that's how you play, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I'm gonna be focusing mainly on just keyboard and uh, versus controller. So. What are some of the advantages? What are some of the disadvantages to each one? And is there one clear winner? We're gonna get to that answer. You may not like the answer, but we're gonna get to it. So first, let's look at some advantages for the keyboard. So these are, I like to try to get clear, undebatable advantages. So, cause a lot of it is opinion, right? But here are some undebatable advantages. So with the keyboard, the speed of direction changes is easier to do than with a controller. And what I mean by that is the ability for you to um, go from moving right to moving left on a keyboard is simple because you have your fingers on the all directions and you can easily go right, left, right, left, right, left um, very easily. But on, on a controller, you have the thumbstick uh, for movement and obviously it's going to take more time for me to move my thumb left than all the way to the right than all the way to the left again um, than it is for you to do 80 80 80 80 or arrow keys or whatever you're doing on the keyboard and that is an advantage you can change directions faster on the keyboard another advantage of keyboard is that you have more customization options uh, you can you can customize the Xbox 360 controller as well but you're limited to the buttons that are on the controller itself you can only obviously program those buttons. On the keyboard, you have many, many, many buttons. You have the whole keyboard, basically. You can program anything to any button. Uh, so no matter what kind of uh, hands, like placement you want, you can do that on a keyboard. So that's another advantage. I don't really change the buttons on my uh, layout, on my controller. I use default pretty much, so that's not really an issue for me. Um, now let's go over some of the disadvantages for keyboard. Um, first of all, and this is depending on your keyboard, but it's loud to play on. And what I mean by that is the keyboard clicks. So you'll be hearing when somebody's playing keyboard, you'll be hearing all the time. And you hear it in the streams, you hear it in the YouTube videos, or even if you're just playing with your friend at your friend's house and they're on keyboard and you're on a controller or whatever, the keyboard is loud. Okay, usually. Also another disadvantage is, is it's harder to aim. Uh, when throwing an item on the keyboard. What I mean by that is Brahalla uses an eight directional uh, aiming system. So if you wanted to aim like bottom right or top right, or whatever, it's just a little bit, and this is a little bit more opinion based, but with a controller, I find it is just easier to aim throwing items with a thumbstick than it is with a uh, using four buttons, like on a keyboard or a directional pad. And finally, and this is a, also an opinion and it kind of depends, but the size of the keyboard when traveling. If you don't travel, this one doesn't apply to you, but if you want to go to your friend's house and play Brahalla, you know, it's a lot easier to bring a controller with you than it is to uh, bring a whole keyboard. Especially if that's your keyboard that you play with on your computer, you might have to unplug it, get all the cables, and you gotta plug it back in, etc., etc. Now let's look at some advantages and disadvantages for the controller. I use an Xbox 360 controller, but this pretty much goes to all controllers. So the biggest advantage I think a controller has is uh, that it is easier to aim when you're throwing items. So I'm not gonna, I already talked about that a little bit, so I'm not gonna go over that. Um, another pro for the controller, and this one is opinion based, is comfort. Um, I, I find it much more comfortable to be holding a controller in my hands. Um, not, that, not that playing on a keyboard is not comfortable. I mean, it, it's not like it's uncomfortable, but um, Something about hold, holding the controller in my hand, I can lean back in my chair, I don't have to be like up leaning forward on my keyboard. I don't know, I can I can be far from the TV. I have a wireless controller and I guess you could have a wireless keyboard sitting on your lap, but I don't know if that would be very comfortable either. Um, so comfort, you know, take that pro with a grain of salt, because like I said, it's opinion based. Um, and then, yeah, it is easier to travel with the controller, it's easier to bring it to your friend's house. Let's go over some disadvantages for controller. 
the same thing that was an advantage for the keyboard is also the disadvantage for the controller. That's the speed of direction changes. Now, if you're pre pretty fast with the sticks, it's not going to be that big of a difference. Um, I'm a six-time diamond, and I've used the controller my entire Brawlhalla career, so it's not like you can't be very, very successful with controller, but the speed at which you can go from left to right is just a little bit slower than it is on keyboard. And then another disadvantage is you actually do have to have a controller. <laughs> it doesn't really come with the uh, game, so um, the keyboard is actually easier to get into the game because you don't need anything. You can just download the game on a laptop and you can just play on the keyboard, no problem. You don't need anything else. But um, if you actually have a controller, um, that's not really a disadvantage, but if you don't, you do have to actually go buy a controller. You have to have a USB cable or a wireless adapter. I actually use the official Microsoft Xbox wireless USB adapter, so I'm wireless. I don't like the uh, cord because for me, every like I get a new cord and then a week later it starts disconnecting even when it's plugged in and I got to unplug it, plug it back in. If you even wiggle it a little bit, it becomes disconnected. So if you don't have the wireless adapter, just being on a wired controller, um, you're at the mercy of that cord and that connection. And, and uh, I think on both the PS4 and Xbox One controllers, they have the same USB cord and both of them don't work that well for as far as like staying connected. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't even move around that much. It just, I'm just sitting here and it move a tiny bit and it'll become disconnected. So that's why I went with the wireless USB adapter. So after we've already looked at the pros and cons kind of of both the keyboard and controller, which is the winner, well, the answer is it really depends on what you are most comfortable using. Uh, like I said, you may not like that answer, but if you prefer using a controller, when you're, especially when you're playing a fighting game like Soul Calibur, Street Fighter, whatever fighting game you play, uh, you're probably going to prefer a controller for Smash Bros. Or I mean, sorry, for Brawlhalla. And the reason I say Smash Bros is because I was about to say the reason I wanted to use controller for Brawlhalla when I first started playing is because I have been a long time Smash Bros play player and when I saw Brawlhalla I just wanted to use a controller because that's what I was used to with Smash Bros and it really translates you know very easily if you're a Smash Bros player and you pick up a controller and play Brawlhalla it'd probably be a lot easier for you to use than if you are a Smash Bros player and then you go ahead and use a keyboard to play Brawlhalla for the first time. It may be, you know, more of a learning curve there. Um, but for me personally, that's why I use controller. Um, a lot of pros use keyboard, but there's also many pros that use controller. So really, it's up to you and what you're most comfortable with and what you have available to you. Do you even have an Xbox One controller or a PS4 controller or any other compatible Brawlhalla controller? Do you even have one? If you don't, well, then the answer is just play keyboard, you know? You can get very, very good with keyboard. I don't really like using it because, again, I just have way too many hours invested in, with the controller. Not that I couldn't learn keyboard, but, you know, it's whatever you're, you have available, whatever you're most comfortable with. So that is the answer to the keyboard versus controller question. You know, there is no clear winner. All right, guys, well... I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It helps my channel grow. And uh, be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. I'm always putting that out there. Let me know in the comments what you guys use. Keyboard or controller? Or do you even use keyboard and mouse? Um, I would like to know. I would like to know. Maybe, uh, maybe you guys can uh, vote in the comments just saying keyboard or controller and we can judge uh, who plays most? I'm gonna guess that keyboard is the most played because, again, you don't need anything. Not everybody has a controller, you know, you can just download the game and play on a keyboard. So I'm gonna assume most people play with keyboard, but let me know if you play controller as well. And uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy. I will see you in the next video.